Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I have my empties to share with all of you. I do have quite a bit here. I have skincare, some makeup. I also have a hair care product in here. And like always, I save my empties to share with all of you so that I can give you a final verdict, whether I would repurchase these or would I pass on them. So I have a lot to cover, so let's just jump right in. The first empty that I have is the Everyone Lotion. I have talked about this several times on my channel already. You have seen this in past empty videos as well and this is a lotion that I've been using now for probably four or five years. I always resort back to this because I love the formulation and the texture. It's lightweight, it's non-greasy, it's not sticky and this is just the perfect lotion to apply every day. Your skin feels like skin. It doesn't have that greasy, sticky feel afterwards, which I can really appreciate, especially during the summer months. Now, when I'm self-tanning and I'm using my self-tanning drops, this is always the lotion that I always resort to, to mix with my drops, because again, it's that lightweight texture and it's not greasy or sticky. So it works really well with self-tanning drops. Now, this is actually a three-in-one, so technically, you could use this on your face. I really wouldn't recommend it because a lot of people are sensitive to pure essential oils and plant extracts, which is what this lotion is made of. So if you have sensitivities to extracts and essential oils, you may not want to go with this or you may just want to keep this for your body and your hands, which is completely fine. For your face, I've never used it for my face and I would never use this for my face just to prevent any possible sensitivities. So I think this is great for every day for the body. I have the lavender aloe scent. I also love the citrus mint scent. There are a few other scents to choose from and there is an unscented option as well. So I definitely will be repurchasing this again. The next empty is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. If you've been with me for a while, you all know that I am a big fan of CeraVe and I really love the hydrating cleanser. I've been using this for several years. I like to use this in the winter especially but I tend to use this more so in the evenings before using any active ingredients like tretinoin or any direct acid. I like using this because I find that my skin is left moisturized once I've rinsed this off so I feel like my skin is prepped for my serums and those high strength products and I will absolutely purchase another one. I have a little sample of the Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Now I got this through Sephora and I redeemed 100 points for this and I wanted to try this. I have had a few of you ask me if I've ever used it before and what were my thoughts and I had to respond back and say, sorry, I can't tell you I've never used it. Now I will say I don't hate it, I don't love it, I just like it. It's very hydrating. It feels nice on the skin. I didn't have any issues with pilling. I just personally don't like the texture of this vitamin C. When it comes to vitamin C's, I like watery vitamin C's, like the Timeless, like SkinCeuticals, like the Paula's Choice Vitamin C. They're more of a true watery serum vitamin C. And those are the textures that I prefer to use on my skin. I like to apply them to damp skin after cleansing and I just like the way that they pair up with my other skincare products. But when it comes to creamy serums like this, I just don't like them. So I don't think this is a terrible product but it's just not for me, so I will not be purchasing the large size. I also have an empty New Face Gel Primer to go with my New Face Trinity device. Yes, I still use it. I use it two to three times a week in the morning, and I still love it, and I still love the results that I get from it. The microcurrent device helps to contour and to lift your skin and it really does work and you will see instant results. The more consistent you are with the microcurrent device, your results will remain permanent. So I still love it, I still use it like I said, it is necessary to have the conducting gel for the microcurrent device to work properly and I like to stick with the same brand as I know this is designed for the microcurrent device from 
new face. So I've already purchased another one. If you would like to learn more about the microcurrent device, I did upload a video several months ago. I go into complete detail, I review the product, and I also show you how to use it. It is a lengthier video, but it's full of information. So I will leave that video below for you as well as up here. So I do have a few Decium products here. I have a couple Ordinary, one Neod product, and one Hylamide product. So I have an empty Neod Survival Zero. This is one of my favorite serums from Neod. This is full of antioxidants. I like to use this in my morning skincare routine, paired up with my vitamin C serum. You can use this hand in hand with so many other types of antioxidants. This is great for anti-aging and it also is great to protect your skin from environmental stressors. So I highly recommend if you are in the market for a new antioxidant serum, I think this is a great option and it's very lightweight and hydrating. I also have an empty Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. You all know that I love this product and I tend to use this sometimes in the morning or sometimes at night. It just depends on what I'm feeling, but this is a great product as well. The other empty that I have here is the resveratrol 3% plus ferulic acid 3% from The Ordinary. Another product that I use every single morning with the Neod Survival Zero. And by the way, I did repurchase the Neod Survival Zero. I did repurchase the hyaluronic acid as well, just so you know. So the resveratrol is another serum, like I said, that I use in my morning. I pair it up with my vitamin C and I also pair it up with the Neod Survival Zero. Great product for anti-aging, and this is also an antioxidant. I've already repurchased this as well. The next product is by Hylamide, and this is the Sub-QIs. I will not be repurchasing this. I have mentioned in one of my videos in the past that this makes my eyes burn. And it doesn't happen all the time. It happens once in a while. So if I use this two days in a row, I'm fine. On the third day, my eyes will start to burn. So the skin around my eyes will start to burn and even my eyes will water. I don't know what it is. There is something in the formulation and this is also a serum that can be drying. Sometimes I experience dryness, sometimes I don't. So I don't really like this product. I finished it but I don't really like it. So I won't be repurchasing this. The next product is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Moroccan Argan Oil. I did finish this up. I won't be repurchasing this one either. It's a great oil for your hair, for your skin, for your body. I just don't use oils that often. So because of that, I'm not gonna be repurchasing. I might pick it up in the winter time when I notice that my skin is a little bit more dry. I do sometimes like to add a couple of drops of this into my body moisturizer. So I will be passing for right now. I also have an empty SkinCeuticals Silamarin CF Vitamin C Serum. Now my last empties video, I shared an empty SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Acid, which is the original vitamin C. And during that time, I was still using this. Now this is finished. Now this one is designed more for acne prone skin because there is salicylic acid in the formulation. So not only are you getting the 15% L-ascorbic acid with the 0.5 ferulic acid and the silymarin ingredient, but you're also getting salicylic acid, which really helps to prevent breakouts. Now the whole time I was using this, which was two months, it took me two months to finish this, I didn't experience any breakouts, which was great. So it does work. I do experience hormonal breakouts, and sometimes I do experience the odd breakout from time to time. Now, the only thing that I will say with this, compared to the original SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Acid, is that since this contains salicylic acid, I didn't want to attempt to apply this to my under eye area because I wasn't sure if my under eyes would react to the salicylic acid ingredient. I didn't know if I would see any sensitivities or dryness, so I didn't even bother to apply this around my eye area. But with the original CE Ferulic Acid, I do apply that to my under eye area to treat the fine lines and to help with anti-aging. So that is the only downfall with this product in particular. If you think that you could put this underneath your eyes and that your skin can tolerate 
the salicylic acid then great but I just didn't want to take that chance so this is something that I would purchase down the road SkinCeuticals did gift me this product by the way but I do like it enough to purchase it with my own money so for right now I think I'm gonna stick with the CE Ferulic but this might be an option to go back to one day I have an empty CeraVe hydrating sunscreen this is the sheer tint SPF 30 and this is a mineral sunscreen so this contains both the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide now I really love this sunscreen this is super moisturizing I love the finish and it looks radiant on the skin I just love this sunscreen so much now the only downfall with this sunscreen there is a couple of downfalls number one being if you're a Canadian we can't purchase this in Canada so you do have to purchase this on amazon.com which is where I purchased this I will leave the links below for you the other downfall for me is this is a little bit too dark for my skin tone so the only time I can use this is if I'm self tanning because if I were to apply it right now you will notice that I will have a tan face and this will be all white and I don't bring this down my neck because this transfers I find and I don't want this on my clothes because it really does transfer if you bring this down to your neck or even your chest area I really wouldn't recommend it unless you're wearing a tube top or something because I'm telling you right now it transfers so I only use this when I'm self tanning so that's the only downfall but other than that I think this is great so if you have a darker skin tone than I do then you may really love this there is no white cast and it's honestly amazing I will show you what this looks like like in terms of color this is completely empty but of course I got a little bit on the lid there so you can see that it is pretty dark I'm hoping you can see that I will repurchase this I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase it right now because I have so many sunscreens on the go but this will be something that I will pick up later down the road for sure I also finished up the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. This is a great product if you're looking for a niacinamide serum that is super moisturizing. The formulation is very creamy, so it's great if you find that some niacinamide products are a little bit too drying and irritating. This one's actually very comfortable on the skin. It also soothes your skin as well, and your skin just feels so moisturized. So I highly recommend this. I'm not going to purchase it right now though because I do have several other niacinamide products that I would like to finish up first. This would be something that I would resort back to down the road. The only thing that I will say with this is that this got really messy around the lid and it drove me insane because I had to use my finger and do this to apply it to my face. It, for some reason it was so messy. I don't know if it's because it was that creamy serum or it's the way that the dropper is created. I don't know what it is. That was the only thing that I disliked about it, but the actual product itself was great. So I highly recommend, but again, I'm gonna pass for now. I also have an empty Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1. So this is an SPF 35 for your under eye area. This also color corrects any dark circles or discoloration. And this also brightens up the under eyes as well. Now, of course, you can just bring your regular face sunscreen up underneath your eyes, on your eyelids. But if you are looking for something additional to apply to your under eye area, something that also color corrects at the same time so that you don't have to use a separate concealer later on or if you don't even want to wear makeup then this will help to disguise any discoloration and it really does brighten up underneath your eyes and you can bring this underneath your brow bone as well and your eyelids if you want to there are several shades to choose from I have it in the medium shade which is a peachy tone now this peachy tone doesn't really match very well to my complexion so I have to put a separate concealer on top to disguise that peachy tone where it looks more natural but if you choose the proper shade for your skin tone you may not have to apply a separate concealer on top if you don't want to now the next time I purchase this which I will be repurchasing I'm going to purchase the fair shade because I do think that that would be a proper shade for my skin tone especially going into fall and winter which 
it's coming. I hate to say it, but it's coming. So I want to be prepared. So I'm going to purchase the fair shade next, but the medium shade with that peachy tone, it really helps to disguise any discoloration. I don't have dark circles, but I do have a little bit of a pinky purpley tone in this area. And I find the peachy tone really brightens up that area and preps it for my concealer. So I highly recommend. And again, yes, I will be repurchasing. And the last skincare product that I have is by L'Occitane or L'Occitane, L'Occitane, and this is the Lavender Hand Cream. I got this last Christmas. It has taken a while to finish because I'm using so many other hand creams right now. I actually forgot about this, and then I saw it a couple of months ago, and then I started to use it. I love the smell. The lavender scent is so nice, so relaxing. I think that this is a nice hand cream. It is a little bit on the greasier side, but I do think that there are better hand creams out there, in my opinion. So it was nice at the time, but I am going to pass and I'm not going to purchase at least for right now. Moving on to the one hair care product that I have. This is by Olaplex and this is the number four bond maintenance shampoo. I am still using the Olaplex line. I still love it. I do use the conditioner as well as the number three treatment. I'm also using the hair oil once in a while also. And I also use the number six, which is the leave-in treatment heat protectant. I love all of those products. So I have repurchased the shampoo. I'm almost finished the conditioner, which I've already purchased a backup because I do like these two products. But if there is one product that I would say go and get that is worth the money would be the number three treatment. That really is a great product to use once a week, once every couple of weeks, and it really helps to repair your hair. It makes it feel soft, it makes it look shiny, and you will notice a difference if you keep using that product. It has really transformed my dry, frizzy, broken, damaged hair from a couple of years ago, and it really has made my hair feel and look a lot more healthy. So I highly recommend number three, but the shampoo and the conditioner is also lovely. Moving on to my empty makeup items here. The first empty is a cosmetic CC cream. This is the travel size, and I have it in the color light. I also use this product in the shade Fair. Sometimes I will mix the two together or I will just use one shade. Now, I don't know why I purchased the travel size. I really don't know why because I have the original sizes already, have been using them for several years. I really can't remember. Maybe this was something around Christmas time that I received. I don't know, but I won't purchase another travel size unless I'm going traveling. That would be a great time to pick up something like this because it takes up less room, of course, or if you're somebody that doesn't go through foundations very quickly, then purchasing the travel size is a great option. So I will continue with the Cosmetic CC Cream. It's honestly a holy grail, but I won't be purchasing the travel size. I also have an empty Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. This is a great product to fill in any sparse areas on your brows. So this is more like a marker, but it's very natural looking. There are a lot of shades to pick from, of course. This is a nice option if you don't like using powders or you don't like using pomades. This makes life so much easier and it's really quick to do as well. I have it in the color light brown and I really enjoyed it. The only downfall with this is that I don't feel like they last very long. You really have to make sure that the lid is completely closed because I do feel that a product like this can dry up pretty quickly. As long as you keep it in a dark place and the lid is on, it should last you a fairly long time. So this would be something that I would purchase definitely down the road. The next empty that I have here that I love, that I've been using for a couple of years now, is by Milani. And this is their Nourishing Lip Plumper. And I have it in the color Luminoso. Love this. This is a dupe to the Buxom Plumping lip glosses. Very, very similar. This has that cooling effect when you apply it to your lips. And I do feel like it's a little bit plumping. It's nothing crazy, of course. You're not going to have these humongous lips, but your lips do feel a little bit more plump. And I really like the way that this feels on the lips. And it has that perfect pinky nude color as well. So love it and I will be repurchasing for sure. I have a couple of mascaras here. I have one by Lancome, and this is the Monsieur Big. Love this mascara. I have used this a few times. This is probably my 
third or fourth tube of this and I really think it's a great mascara. That's what it looks like there. It really does give you longer lashes. It does give you more volume as well. Very easy to remove at the end of the day, which I love. That's very important when it comes to mascaras for me. They have to be easy to remove at the end of the day. And I think that this is a lovely option, especially if you're looking for something that is a little bit more on the pricier side. The other one that I have is by L'Oreal, and this is the Unlimited Mascara. Now this one is new for me. This is the first time that I use this. I'm not sure how long this has been out for, but I like it because of the packaging. This is the handle, so you can bend it when you are applying it to your lashes, which makes it really nice. So of course you can keep it straight and apply it, or you can bend it like that and apply it or even on your lower lash line. So it makes it very ergonomic. I really like that. So if you are into L'Oreal and you like packaging like this, then I would say give this a go. I do like the Lancome better, but this is a great drugstore option. So that completes my empties video. I did have a lot to go through, but I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And all of the products that I shared in today's video, I will have everything linked below for you in my description box for your reference. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. Take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.